Hello friends, welcome back for some more Alienists. So last time I had made the horrible mistake of not saving the game after I had quit, or after I had uh, shut off the video, and which meant I had to go back and fight this and come back and resell and purchase everything. Now that didn't change much. Except that Wilric here is in great shape. And Laurentius took a major beating. He took a headshot with an axe from an orc. It got rid of all of his armor, his uh, helmet armor. And he finished with two hit points. I'm really glad I didn't lose him uh, when I had to go back to, to refight that really glad about that uh, the rest of it kind of went as expected you know for the most part we uh, won and we got some stuff out of it I sold everything and uh, repurchased the armor I think it was this one that I repurchased uh, in which case we're right back to, to where we had left off last time, except Laurentius needs to sit out for a little bit. Which means, you know, another thing, Willibald can come in for the next fight. Uh, does look like Burkhard is back. Sort of. But I do want to bring in Rolo for this next combat. How are you? You're good. Uh, which is going to start right now. We're going to go into Skull Smasher's Grotto. On our way back to Wissenfels, where we have that contract, and then I'm gonna go around the giant slopes, giants slopes, and look for one more orc camp to finally get rid of this ambition. Finally. Well, let's do it. Some Orc Berserkers, some, that, that's not as bad as it was before, right? Or was it always that? I don't, I don't remember. Okay, five Orc Berserkers, that's not bad at all. We can handle that. Famous lads, words, right? Oh, wow. Those are some pretty beefy weapons. Let's let's not worry about taking anything away or doing anything. It's going to take some time for them to get to us, right? So just end our turn. I'm thinking of doing something like this. Like if I go here. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> that was great. They're not going to be able to do anything from here. One, two, three hexes away, so you can't do anything. And you're two hexes away, so we can just move back after they swarm you, which is exactly what they're going to do. Uh, I want to just do this. Let's just do something like that. And yeah, let's just end our turns. So who's... You have a grazed neck. Okay. It's not so bad. They're they're going right where we want them. I think we'll be dealing some really good damage pretty quick. He's got a grace neck. He's now bleeding for quite a bit. Well done. Hmm. 
Oh. You're kidding me. What was that? I hate you. Thank you. Uh, shield wall. That's gonna be my my shield. Okay. Okay. Oof. At least they're missing. Wow, they are missing. And I'm just gonna pull these out. Good. Good. Yeah, not too bad. Only one hit here, and he healed right back up. So, stuff to sell. On our way. That's been there for a long time. I feel like I found that very early on. You guys got that. No longer. Well, that's good, but I'm I'm not going to go back out there. So, as I had planned... Let's see what this is, but... Hunt down unholds. I'm going to decline that. Not because I'm afraid, but I don't... I don't want to do that. Alright, let's buy some food, because we're going to be out there for some time. I'll buy that, too. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All that. Anybody cool here? No. So let's, let's go around Giant's Slopes and look for maybe where these guys came from. I guess they came from that way, didn't they? Gotten that looks like goblins, though. Yeah, they're not orcs. Some skirmishers or some ambushers and many skirmishers. I think we'll be fine with that. Let's see about you. You are on your way, but I think I'll leave you out for a little bit longer. Ah, oh, we picked up a level Marion Diamond. Did I? I don't think I saw that. So we'll take that. I think I'll keep going for this. And yeah, that's a pretty normal level up, I think. And maybe Nimble would be a good thing for her. Or Relentless. Let's go Relentless first. Actually, let's go Nimble first. Let's let's go for the defense and then this will help out later. Yep. Okay. Well, let's let's take them on, sure. I think we're fine. Yeah, we're good. Okay. I'll leave Burkard out just a little bit longer. I want to get uh Rolo maybe not all the way to level up, but get him a little bit closer at least. Wow, they have some pretty good places here. I uh, will wait 
I want to get my front line out. I'm definitely going to be doing that. If I go here, I wonder if I can reach over that. I assume not. But it would be nice... Oh, that's... <laughs> you don't want to know what they're cooking here. It'd be nice if it said, like... Uh, it says blocking movement. Blocking sight and movement. Okay. So I wonder if I stand here. I almost want to just check it out. It... It does. Okay. I've never, ever looked into that before. Blocking sight. Blocking movement, blocking movement. Wow, I'm blown away right there. I can't believe I've gone this long without knowing something like that. That's great. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and just switch. I'm not too worried about weapons in this place. And I'm not gonna be able to reach. Let's wait. Wait, definitely for you. Well, I can do something like that. Let's do that. Good. And we will move up. Right there. Ugh. You jerk. Stunt. Nice. That's strange. do that with Rolo. That's a bit forward, but I, I like it. And I think now... I'm wondering how I should take care of this. Let's do that. It, I think they can do something like this and then run over there, but I'm not too worried about that. Uh, wait for a moment. And maybe that's helpful. Maybe. Maybe that was helpful. See if maybe Igor can pull him out and then I'll swing around with him. Hmm. Here we go. Good work. Let's move up. Uh, wait. Yeah, I'll wait. I love that. Move in there. And... Come on. There we go. Yeah, they don't look too excited now, do they? So I'm going to release the dogs, the ones that I've got here. Let's get as close as I can. There we go. Hey, 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 careful.
That's good. Let's wait with you. We've locked them all down. Careful. I mean, those are pretty weak chances, but I know it. They're very good about hitting. Alright, I guess you're done. Nice, Marion. Well done. Well done, guys. Well done. Marion with three. I think she she definitely took care of business there. Uh, Bjorn Ironside with a level up. Good. Nothing really great here. We did find a neck. That's always good. Other than that, I mean, some stuff. Some stuff. And I think we're, I mean, we're pretty much good to just go find orcs and uh, take them on. I don't think we took any damage there. Our, our pup did. Bjorn. Yep. I'll take it. And four fatigue. Yes. And I think I want to either go for Indomitable or Taunt now. Let's go Indomitable first. Let's go Indomitable first. That way I can I can use that maybe later with Taunt, but I can step up, take Indomitable, and then these guys can be safe. Which then they can step up, or, I mean, Robert Knox can always reach too, so. Nice. Okay. Now you have a net already. You've got everything that I'm, I'm pretty happy with what you've got. All right. Uh, onward. Got some more meat. Fresh, strange meats. Wilric. That's you, buddy. Gained one melee defense. You find Marion Diamond holding up a bare foot of Wilric. Naturally inquire just what they're doing. Ah, this is the, uh... Yeah, pulled a splinter out of Marion... No, out of, uh, Wildric's... Wilric foot and now he feels a lot better got it what's that where did they come from that's my question here maybe we can find their home the trail is gone now Hmm. I wonder if they just came from... I see ruins right there. That's what it looks like. I mean... <laughs> a leader. Uh, uh, some marksman, many raiders, and a leader. I definitely want to do something like this. Willibald, I think we take you out. I'd like to bring Bur uh, Burkhardt back, but why is he still just content? I was kind of hoping to get him over so I didn't have to think about it anymore, but... Uh, we'll go with what we've got. Let's go with what we've got here. And 
And we're going to have to charge this. No doubt about it. Well, they got some initiative there. Wow. Uh, yeah, I mean, let's let's go in. Uh, let's get rid of those trees. There he is. Mattis the Cruel. All of that would be good, wouldn't it? We're facing one, two, and then one of those for now. There's probably another one right there. And we're going to want to go early. Let's do it. go there we can go for a swing like I'm kind of thinking of using Igor's reserve to pull him out I think I'm gonna do that let's do that I don't like leaving you like this So we see everything now, I believe. Yeah, one, two, three crossbows, two of them are the mediums. Maybe we want to toss them into there. I've got this net too. I don't think I need the net. That was a waste. Let's try and go early again. And uh, I don't want that shield there. Uh, wait. Hold it. <laughs> this was a bad choice. Very bad choice. Uh, but I do want him to take a step back before. I don't think I want to. Well, we. I did say I want to be more. You know what? Let's do it. Well done, Rolo. Oh, dude. Uh, wait. They're going straight for him. Okay. Uh, I don't like this anymore. I don't like it anymore. So I'm gonna... I need to get away. Let's go here and then try and hit that guy. Yeah, he's all done. Oh, you guys. Okay. Uh, let me think about this. If I switch here, then I move. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And now I'll wait one more turn before I do something like that. Okay. Hmm. End your turn. Thank you. Wait. <laughs> they love him. They love him. Let's move up there. Hold it, buddy. Hold it. Oh. Ooh, 
I want that. I want that. I really wanted to hit him. It's okay. Stay there for a moment. Do it. I was maybe asking too much, but... Ah, oh, That was... Gah! Okay, good. Great. Um, honestly, you're done. Get out of here. Move in there. Yikes. But since you've already gone, that's that was important. That was very important. Now they're all gone. So is he. <laughs> oh, you jerk. That's incredible. Uh, let's do the daggers. Thank you. You don't have daggers, but let's do something like that then. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. You can come back now? Your turn is done? Let's wait. You don't have a shield. Uh, sorry, a, a dagger. Right? Correct. So I think what I'll do is I'll just move into here. I'm gonna get rid of that shield. It looks like it's burdening him quite a bit, right? Hmm. Yeah, just and stay back there, please. Get him. Igor, you got that, right? No, oh, you all missed. And you missed them all. All right, come back. Everybody's okay now. Really? How is that still going? Does he have shield mastery? I wonder if he has shield mastery. That might explain why the fighting axe took three hits to get through that. Hold it. Uh, run him down, of course. Just end your turn there. There goes that. Get in there. Good. Now we don't have to worry about him. And don't don't do anything. Rolo? No. 
St. Balthazar does not have anything. So no. Robert Knox, can you do it? There it goes. Robert Knox and Laurentius with a level up. And Viriato, the belly dancer. Well done, guys. Anything good? Well, this is nice. And I'm, I'm happy to get this for free. But as you can see, it's... Well, okay, it, it has less vision. Uh, well, more vision. I did get the fighting spear, which is good. Some stuff. Some stuff. And it's all good. It all fits. I think we have to go back and sell it off before we continue looking for that orc camp. Which is our goal for this uh, episode. They have a weaponsmith, but it, they've been raided, so I assume prices are going to be disgusting here. Not for selling, though. Selling looks pretty decent. Oh, never mind. Really bad. Yikes. This is not a good place to be. Uh, what's close by before I decide to... Uh, we could head to Kabira. Let's go to Kabira real quick. I just, I really want to make some money. And I feel like wasting, maybe wasting a day. Oh, wow. Maybe wasting a day or two isn't going to be too bad. They are everywhere. A shaman? Ambushers, skirmishers, wolf riders. What? <laughs> What is going on around here? I, I need to take a quick break. So let's let's do this and we'll we'll head back up and maybe take a fight on or two. Good. We made it. Bread and games. The city council ordered a time for food, drink, and games for everyone to keep the population happy. Food and drink are easy to come by. Gladiators are flocking to the city. And arena fights pay more than usual. Really? Do they pay more than usual? They... Well, I mean, it's better prices than typical, so... Well, there we go. I think that's a pretty good place. We're in a better place than before. I want to remember this, so Igor, the Fighting Spear, awesome. I love this weapon. Uh, we also have this, we have this, and this maybe for somebody like Hippocrates, because of his vision problem, might be a good thing for him. But honestly, I think I just want a better helmet than this. Uh... Herbert West. I mean, does this... It's 8 versus 5, so... I could give that to him. I don't think the vision is really all that necessary for the handgun. But... I don't see any other person to take it. So I, I think if we're going to be given vision to anybody, let's give it to Oscar. As for the leather scale armor... I think this is exactly what I have for you. Yeah, it should be 170. Yep. Uh, so maybe we just do this again and put this on. I give this over here still. What's this? This is 150. Maybe that's what we do. Maybe Rolo is the one that deserves something like this. Uh, another thing I could do is just put this on, like, Hippocrates, but I, I don't think I want to take his fatigue until I give him uh, Brawny. Yeah, I think, I think Rolo has been an integral part. So let's give him this. This means we have this male shirt. 
uh, which is better than this. And then Horik now has that basic male shirt. 125 and 12, how does that compare? 150 and 16, okay. So we now have everybody has the armor that I'm, I'm most happy with. For now, at least. Obviously, there's better armor out there, but we, we have better than this worn male shirt. We went way too long with that. Uh, we have three, <laughs> three helmets still. It's funny, sometimes, some campaigns I can never find these helmets. And others I've just, uh, now I have too many. Everybody has them or better, so. Uh, Robert Nax reaching level 11. Good work, buddy. Three, three, and... Well, four. Yeah. He is a beast. Okay. We have two perks because of student, which is fantastic. We've already given him Axe Mastery, Underdog, Battle Forge, Head uh, Berserk, and Headhunter, Backstabber, Executioner, Colossus. Do I go for Steel Brow? Is Gifted a good thing to take for three more into melee skill? Uh, fearsome might be might be worth taking because he has 50 resolve and the more people that have fearsome I think is going to be better it's just gonna make them turn and flee quicker and since it's the orc crisis we're not gonna be dealing with a lot of undead we're gonna be dealing with orcs and they have some pretty uh, they can turn pretty quickly some of them can anyway all right, so I figured it out. I'm gonna be taking Killing Frenzy. So when he does do, when he does uh, perform a kill, when he does kill, uh, that'll increase it, which will make sure that he will kill again, and Berserk will be even more used. So Killing Frenzy, and I kind of want Gifted. I I don't know how much. How excited I am about it, but I, I'd like to get this up a bit more. And then getting up his... Yeah, I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to go Gifted. I'm going to take Gifted. Let's go Gifted. Ah, that was tough. 3-3 three, three, and... Four more hit points, or do I take a bit more fatigue? That's going to get him up to uh, closer, like 49. Right. But let's go for more hit points. There. 86. 40 melee defense. 112 hit points. Robert Knox, you are a beast. Let's move on. Laurentius. Laurentius, I, I don't know what to do with you either. I've given you so many uh, interesting low-level or low-tier perks. I haven't given you anything down here. I'm kind of thinking of going brawny and just giving him some, some more heavier gear. Like, eventually. I've also considered giving him this. Ah, this is just a waste. I don't use these. I don't. I don't care about them. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to be fighting. I might be getting rid of it. I'm thinking of using something like this, so that maybe if he if he gets into a situation, he can use it. But I don't know how. I don't know how excited I am about it either. But I think it's going to be better than that, right? Better than the flask. Maybe I just do something like this. I'll do this for now. I'm keeping this for this reason. I want to. I want to see if maybe, maybe I do something like this. But it's. I mean, it's ten and ten. It's not really going to help that much, but it could. It could help. I mean, a ten percent reduction in chance of of uh, hit chances is not 
terrible. This and this, and... Maybe I go for melee defense? Some more hit points wouldn't be terrible. I don't like that. The resolve? Yeah, I'll go hit points. Three more hit points. That gets him up to 70. That's not too bad. Now, do I give him... Do I give him something like Axe Mastery too? so when he does pull this out, he can start using it? Uh, I'm kind of... I'm open to that. My other idea was Relentless could be interesting since he has a fair amount of initiative. Uh, thanks to Bags and Belts, of course. Um, overwhelm? In that case, Overwhelm could be pretty helpful. You know, maybe I take Overwhelm. Since I've been using Adrenaline, let's take Overwhelm. He has a fair amount of initiative. I might take Relentless with him. In which case, we'll be going early pretty frequently. I think that sounds good, and some more Overwhelm wouldn't be too bad, and we can use that with our throwing weapons. Sure, that sounds that sounds interesting. Uh, how are you? You've got a broken nose. One to four days. I think that's enough to kind of take you out. How did you break your nose? I assume you got hit in the head. Take you out for now. Variato, up to level 8. Let's go Relentless. And, ugh. Uh, 4, wow, that's great. <laughs> Man, I'm rolling so high up there. But, I can't. I feel like I have to go for it. Four more hit points? That'd be five more hit points? That's 78? But more initiative. I think I need to take initiative here. Okay. Alright. Yeah, not too bad. We could probably take you out for now until you're rested up, but I think Wilric is the better of the three. Wildrick follows close, and Horik is alright too. I think the major difference between these two... Oh, Wildrick is the one with the with the more fatigue, though. He also has that. That's Oh, wow. Apotheosis, that's where he's getting all that fatigue. Okay, well, enough, enough jabbering on. I think we need to just get moving... Let's go fight some more goblins, I guess, and then, uh... I don't think we're gonna be finding anything, are we? Yeah, I'm not gonna be using those. I, I feel like those are okay, but I'm not gonna use them. I want to check out the arena, but I also want to see about... There's only one. And is way too expensive. Aslam al Zahir. Huh. He's coming in with some gear. And on level 3. Let's see what the arena is. Snakes. Four snakes. We can always say no. Let me let me think about this. Because I I feel like it's a good thing. We should go for it. But who do we send? And I need to make sure that they're in perfect condition before putting them in there. Uh, I'm thinking people that can really go to town <laughs> quickly, right? Uh... I would love to bring Robert Knox in, but he's a bit pained. Marion Diamond has been doing pretty good. It's just four of them, so I feel like there's there's some pretty decent chances here. But I'm thinking people with a lot of hit points would be the better choice here. So maybe Hippocrates. 
Wildrick could be a good choice, but I, I want someone that could hit. Not I don't want just a tank. I need hitters. Bjorn Ironside could be one that goes in uh, because he has some good chances of stunning. And then we have Indomitable if it's looking really bad. Definitely not. Rolo could be the other one, but he's kind of aching. Igor? I'm, I'm thinking it's one of these. Maybe Variato. Let's do that. Variato, Bjorn, and Hippocrates. These two are kind of the powerhouses. We can stun, maybe. Chances of stunning with you. And then if you do get hit, at least we can heal a little bit. And Variato for throwing over. Okay, let's do this. Let's put the collars on first, right? All right, let's do that so I don't forget where that came from. And let's also do that. Okay, let's go, let's go. Let's give the crowd something to cheer for. And as always, we can see the crowd for now, but I don't care about the crowd. <laughs> We're not here for the crowd. Let's zoom in on us, right? We'll wait to see them come to us. Weird formation there. Very strange formation. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we just, yeah, I don't know. Let's back up and we're going to end right here. Yeah, they don't like what I'm doing and they've all waited. So we'll wait or we'll end our turn. Interesting. I am not liking this. Here is what we're going to do. Okay. Tense moments here, guys. You move. No. Thank you. <laughs> Come on. Thank you. <laughs> They're so annoying. I hate snakes. In real life too. Uh, Variato taking them, taking them down. But Hippocrates with a level. Oh, I guess they all took at least one down. That's good. That's good. That was a good pit fighter, pit fighter, pit fighter. 
Are you not entertained? Now, is this really going to be worth it? I've never really been into the gladiators. And I feel like we're we're pretty deep into the game. Do I want to spend 4,800 crowns on a new brother at level 3? Alright, there's that. But I don't know if this is a good thing to take. Uh, well, you know what? This might be a good place to end. Do we take Al uh, Aslam Al Sahir into the alienists? What do you think, guys? This will cut short the the episode slightly. I could have maybe run up and take on one more fight, but I'd like to to hear opinion about this. Do we take on a gladiator this late in the game? Sure. Is he really going to be a good addition to the uh, the Brotherhood, the alienists, or not? Or do we forgot about that, right? We could also hire somebody for our retinue. Look out, scout, the scavenger surgeon, maybe? So here's all of our options. What do you think? What do you think? So I guess I'm either going to hire somebody for the retinue or the new gladiator brother. How should I spend the money? And that's where we're going to leave it for today. It is cutting short, maybe a little bit. It's not that much, just a few cu a couple minutes, I guess. But, uh, uh, I do like to end on a question, and that was a good fight to end on. I know it wasn't a terrible fight, but I do hate snakes. And we're getting rich again, so that's, uh, that's, that's definitely helpful. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, you can let me know by leaving a like or a comment. And if you're feeling extra generous, I have started a a new page with buy me a coffee this is a new thing that i'd like to try out to give you all another up a different opportunity to show your support for the channel uh, so the link is in the description below it's called buy me a coffee if you've never heard of it before it's basically a friendlier way to support content creators uh, of all kinds without the feeling of purchasing a subscription on Patreon. So I feel like it's a friendlier way of supporting content creators such as YouTubers. So there is another option out there for people to show their support for the channel. Great. Well, as always, thanks for stopping by and I hope to see you next time.